Hello everyone, this is Yeshua said my name. I'm going to be doing a video here today, uh, one of the first of many, hopefully, uh, revealing false doctrine in the Catholic Church. Today we're going to be going over the uh, Catholic Vatican papal system changing times and laws according to God's word. In other words, they removed and changed one of the commandments of God. Um, let's get into this here. Um, the Roman Catholic Church is filled with idolatry, this article says. Now, this man giving this article here, uh, writing this article, he is actually a former devout Catholic. And he is, thanks to the Lord, getting on here and revealing the falsehoods of the Vatican papal system. So we're going to begin to the worship of statues and idols. Uh, the Catholic Church wanted to allow for this, so they removed God's commandment of making graven images of anything in heaven above or earth below and worshiping them. And this can be found in the... Um, New St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism, the second commandment is listed as thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism 195. And you can also find it here, 1994, item 1192. I wanted to show you a graphic explaining this because a picture speaks louder than a thousand words. Um, you can come here and see how the Catholic Church removed the commandment from the Lord, thou shalt not make any graven image of anything in heaven above or earth below and changed it to thou shalt not take the, the name of the Lord thy God in vain, and then took the coveting commandment and made it into commandment 9 and 10. Where is the commandment here that says thou shalt not make any graven image of anything in heaven above or earth below? It has been removed. If you look at the Catholic Bible, this is what you will see. If you go to the King James Version of the Scriptures, you will see the commandments as they are listed, including how God wrote the commandment of making graven images. If we go to Daniel 7.25, King James Version, Daniel was shown by the Lord that the Antichrist system that would one day rule the earth in the latter days will speak great words against the Most High, Daniel 7.25 says, and shall wear out the saints and think to change times and laws. This was prophesied in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. God was showing Daniel, the Antichrist system ruling on the earth in the last days will change or presume to change God's times and laws. The Vatican has changed the Sabbath from Saturday into Sunday. They have also presumed to change the Ten Commandments of God, which we can see right here. What happens to those who change the commandments of God, though? What does God say will happen as a result of tampering with his word? For that answer, we need to go to Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify, Jesus says, unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, meaning his word, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. All the punishments, judgments, and plagues that are written in Revelation will be added to those who add to God's word or take from it, which is what Vatican Rome has done. Revelation 22:18 shows the punishment of those who do this. And again, it was prophesied in Daniel 7.25 that the man of sin, modern day mystery Babylon, papal Rome, will change or presume to change times and laws. Daniel 7.25. This has been fulfilled in the Vatican papal Rome system. They have removed the commandment that thou shalt not make a graven image of anything in heaven above or earth below and replaced it with this and then taken one commandment and made them into commandment 9 and 10 about coveting. This is absolute evil, guys. Uh, this is satanic. It's Satan's way of having paganism and idol worship come into the Catholic Church. Uh, so for those of you who may be new to this, I wanted to present the evidence in picture form for you. Uh, I hope this helps somebody today. God bless.